in late June 2022, um, things started leaking that uh, WWE long-term head honcho Vince McMahon had uh, been asked to uh, step down from his um, position as a CEO and chairman of WWE uh pending an internal investigation due to improper conduct with an employee now or did or, or did he voluntarily step down because he'd been informed of the investigation bottom line is he stepped down from his position as chairman of WWE but still carried on being the uh head of creative and uh running the television show, again, because of improper conduct with an employee. Now, uh, everybody who seems to have worked with Vince has said that Vince McMahon would die in his chair at the gorilla position whilst basic, basically controlling an episode of Raw. Vince was never going to retire. Vince was never going to leave. Vince was never going to decide, you know what, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my life on my boat or at my mansion or I'm going to take up fishing or golf. Vince was a workaholic. Now, the product under Vince for definitely the last five years maybe longer, and in fact, definitely longer, but we'll say the last five years, had been, for the most part, terrible. It had been a really tough watch. You've got three hours on Monday for Raw, two hours on SmackDown. WrestleMania, as much as it has been the flagship event, before they split it up into two nights, that was becoming a slog. WrestleMania was the... WrestleMania was like Christmas for wrestling fans. And then all of a sudden it just became a test of endurance, especially for, again, not playing the victim here, but us in the UK, we, we have to, um, we have to basically take ourselves out of our normal sleeping pattern to watch, uh, WWE and and AEW pay-per-views. And uh, it's just a nece- it's just a necessary evil. It's just something we've always done. But when you when you're starting to watch the pre-show at uh, 10 p.m. and you're not finishing the actual event till five, sometimes gone five a.m. That's a long slog. And again, that's all Vince. That's all Vince. This is all down to Vince. Um. So he had been in charge of an increasingly stale product. Uh, during the pandemic, he axed a lot of people from his roster, which at a time where work, getting, getting work was as difficult as, as it, it had ever been in any of our lifetimes. The entire world was shut down. And the company that is announcing record profits is then cutting people from its roster, leaving them jobless, hopefully not penniless, but leaving them jobless. And it just seems like a, it just seems like a bit of a dick move. And again, nothing happened in that company without Vince's approval, without Vince's say so. So for any talk of, well, that wasn't a Vince decision. Maybe he he wasn't the one who suggested it, but he's the guy who okayed it. Now, I will not take anything away from Vince McMahon's legacy in wrestling because every single person who listens to this, I can pretty much guarantee the reason you are a fan of professional wrestling is because of Vince McMahon. Whether whether you're a fan of the guy now, and my guess is that's probably not many. That's probably not many people right now. Literally everybody is a fan in some form or fashion of professional wrestling because of Vince McMahon. And I will never not 
believe that. But again, his judgment, as far as the business is concerned, especially in the past five years or so, had been, we'll be charitable and we'll say it had been a bit suspect. It, it definitely ran me off. It definitely made me not want to follow it as intently. Definitely didn't make me want to watch the program week after week. But then we come back to uh, impro improper conduct with uh, an employee. Now, this appeared to be a uh, secretary or something that had been hired. And then after a year, this secretary all of a sudden receives a 100% pay rise. And then it comes out that she has signed a an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. Basically, I'm paying you money to not say a word. And uh, it's, a, it's basically a legal document that says, shut your mouth or else. Um, and it comes out that Vince McMahon had basically had an affair with this lady. And whilst digging, th whilst digging through uh you know the company's obviously financial history and employment history this had all come out now uh this was originally leaked by i believe the one of the the girl who in question the woman in question who vince was room room well not rumored it's been proven the, the vince the guy the, the girl who vince had an affair with um it was her friend who I believe leaked something to the Wall Street Journal. So it's a very, very highly thought of, very well, very well respected uh, journalistic source, the Wall Street Journal in, in, the, in the States. Um, and originally, I believe they said it was a friend who, who disclosed that information. Or she might have disclosed it to WWE. And then someone in the company may have disclosed it to the Wall Street Journal. Either way, Vince has not come out and denied any of these allegations. Now, if Vince believed he was in any way being mistreated or he was wronged, um, anyone who's uh, listened to any, any uh, media or watched anything to do with Vince McMahon uh, will know that he has had legal issues before and he has uh, one hell of a lawyer, a gentleman by the name of Jerry McDevitt, uh, who has basically in all but one high profile case has basically got Vince out of, out of trouble and has defended Vince from trouble that uh, he, he, he didn't solicit. But I haven't heard that man's name mentioned in this case. Vince cooperated with the investigation. And then a week or so prior to SummerSlam, after a string of basically unwarranted appearances on TV when he, he was in no he was no part of any storylines. He was no part of any storylines. He just decided that I'm Vince McMahon, damn it. And I'm going to show my face and show the people that I don't sweat this investigation. Now, I don't know if that was just cockiness or if it was a farewell tour in his mind. But again, you get to about two weeks before SummerSlam uh, on, a, on, on, on a Friday afternoon. Uh, the, the man's official Twitter account, which, let's be honest, Vince has never tweeted in his life. He has an account. He has a verified Vince McMahon account, but he had a lackey doing that. The tweet goes out that Vince McMahon, at the age of 77, has decided it's time to retire. Which, only to the most naive and gullible of observers would look at that and go, 
oh my God, he's guilty. He's guilty of all of this. And not and not just having an affair. That You know, people have affairs all the time. I mean, it's long been rumoured that him and Linda are, their marriage, him and Linda McMahon, he's been married to her uh, maybe, maybe 50 years now. I'm not exactly sure. But their marriage has been nothing more than a piece of paper for a long time. So as far as the impropriety of um, having an affair, an extramarital affair, uh, I don't think uh, neither Vince nor Linda have too many uh, personal issues with that because, you know, like I said, that, 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 that relationship was purely transactional at that point and at this point. So I don't think that was that well that I don't think that was the issue. I know that wasn't the issue. The issue was that while this had been happening, there were other discoveries made that four other women, I believe it was four other women, had been paid a grand total of nearly twenty million dollars in hush money. And all signing these non-disclosure agreements, basically shut up or else we'll sue you. You sign the document, you get a load of money, and you stay quiet. Vince had done this four or five times, stretching all the way back to 2006. And it just... It, it it just reeks. It it's such a bad look. A guy in his sixties and seventies, and let's face it, one of the, one of these women, one of these women was a WWE diva. No, no, but no, you know, nobody's come out and said that. Nobody has come out and said that which WWE diva it was, but a WWE diva was one of the women who was paid a lot of money to stay quiet that she had an extramarital affair with Vince McMahon. Now, the legal ramifications around all of this, I don't, I, I don't know if they're still yet to be addressed, but the, the, these women are all, I believe, in, in the age range of... Uh, late 20s to early 40s the guy's 60 or 70 now vince mcmahon isn't going to be the first guy to be accused of looking at younger women he you know he won't be the last either but when it's when 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 you own your own company when you're when you own a private company and it is yours and again i'm not advocating this but this is where I think Vince Vince's cognitive state comes into into question on this point. I'm not advocating that you should you should run your own company and keep everything you do hidden just so you can hide the fact that you behaved inappropriately. But to do that to pay these women who you basically used for your own whatever your own you know sick desires or fantasies or whatever and then you pay them and you make them sign ndas but all the time you are running a publicly traded company the money that goes through that company some of which Vince used to pay some of these women, which is where a possible uh, criminal charge could be looming for Vince. Again, I don't know if um, that is pending. Uh, I haven't heard that there's been any resolution on that side yet. But when you are a publicly traded company, and every single penny that goes through the company has to be accounted for. And your actions are held to a standard that cannot be hidden. 
it suggests to me that not only was he uh, reckless with his um, carnal desires, he was also reckless in, 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 in business. It, 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 was, it, was, it was such a reckless move for him to commit with public money with money that wasn't his. Now, if you've been the boss for so long, you can be fooled into thinking you're invincible. Vince does have a lot of Donald Trump about him. Where no matter what he does, he believes nobody can touch him, irregardless of the fact that everything he does... Again, this isn't fair with Vince. This is more of Donald Trump rant. But Donald Trump genuinely thinks he can get away with anything. Vince McMahon, in the realms of WWE and anything happening on WWE property or with WWE money, I think Vince McMahon forgot that he is now a uh, the head of a publicly traded company and not the small business that him and his wife started back in the 80s that grew into a, a huge company that was allowed to go public. I think it was a grave, grave error by Vince, which ultimately ended up costing him not his not his job. I mean, it's not like he's been kicked out the door with uh, with um, just the clothes on his back. Uh, Vince is still a multi, multi, multi millionaire, and uh, now he will go and enjoy his retirement. He has been seen out on the town at least twice since. Uh, since leaving WWE with a with a, a younger lady, and uh, again, no, nothing wrong with that. But he was ultimately removed from his own company by his own poor judgment. And I never thought, obviously, you know, it's going to happen. But you, I just never thought I would see the day where Vince would have to walk away i genuinely believed what everybody had said for years vince will die in that chair before he leaves and yet here we are now vince has gone and now we have in charge triple h 